Well, if you're out in Devil's Lake, you can see that camera shaking due to the gusty winds pushing through with wind gusts being at or above 30 miles per hour. But we are seeing some breaks in the cloud cover, uh, giving us a break from the rain. Speaking of the rain, yesterday uh, we saw pretty decent rainfall totals. This was a uh, measurement taken by a viewer. Elizabeth, thank you so much for recording this measurement. Highly appreciate it. She recorded, I think, think just a little over a quarter inch of rain at Thief River Falls and one of the main things is that some areas saw decent rainfall totals over an inch in some locations and other areas didn't really see much rain at all and that was because of where the heaviest showers were pushing right on through. We're taking a break from the rain today and tonight. Uh, clearing out this afternoon, but cool, cloudy, breezy conditions will return tomorrow and Friday. Warm weather returns next week. To see what's going on, let's first look at current conditions. Current temperatures are in the upper 40s, low 50s. Again, seeing those winds coming in from the northwest at around 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts above at 30 miles per hour in Devil's Lake, Jamestown, for instance. So it's very windy in some portions of North Dakota. And that's because what's happening is, well, the low pressure system that brought our rain yesterday, that's moving into Canada. But there's another low pressure system right to the north of North Dakota, and that will stay north of North Dakota and Minnesota over the next couple of days, bringing some cloud cover and moisture into the region and forming a cloud cover um, and a couple of showers, in fact. This low pressure system is strong enough that we'll end up seeing some wind gusts uh, heading into tomorrow. So we'll see the winds settling down tonight, but by tomorrow afternoon, wind gusts will be back in the 30 to 45 mile per hour range. So tomorrow afternoon will be a bit on the windy side. Tomorrow night, the winds settle back down, but by Friday morning, they're back again, back in the 30 plus mile per hour range. And it's not until Friday night that the winds finally end up settling down and we get a break from these strong wind gusts. So basically, the afternoon hours for tomorrow and Friday will be the windiest. As for precipitation, staying dry this afternoon and evening, just some scattered clouds and that's it. As we head into tomorrow morning, though, widespread cloud cover makes a return. A few snow showers may try to push into portions of northern, northern Minnesota uh, tomorrow afternoon as that low pressure system pushes through Canada. So there's a couple of sprinkles here and there and a chance of precipitation as we head into Friday, too. Saturday, though, looking dry. Sunday, looking dry, too. It's not until Monday that a low pressure system ends up bringing some more rain our way. In the meantime, though, we will get a break from the precipitation this weekend. The high of 61 on Sunday, back in the 60s throughout next week, too. And just looking at the 11 day though, compared to maybe the previous 11 days, yeah, quite the dip in the highs and things like that. But still have to be happy at least about the 60s. You stuff. know what? You know what? At least we're not dealing with heavy snow. That's a good start. Exactly, Joseph. Thank you.